Hello guys, welcome to another exciting episode in our Coral Draw designing series. In today's series, I'm going to be talking about um, the Pick 2 group inside of Coral Draw. And for this uh, video, I'm going to be using the Coral Draw 2024. So if you don't have this version of Coral Draw, you can click on the link in the description of this video to actually get that in the channel which I will be uploading it on, right? So uh, without having to waste more time, let's get started. So uh, in this video, like I said, we're going to be talking about the pick two, right? So um, the pick two, this is where you find the pick two. And of course, it's a group. Why I say it's a group is when you click and hold, you see every other thing. The first two you see there is the pick two. Then you have the free hand pick and the free transform pick, which I will be explaining inside of this video, right? Now, um, to start with, I, I, I want to make you understand that the pick tool is one of the most important or basic tool that you find inside of Corridor, right? You can see it is the first tool inside of the toolbox inside of Corridor. Of course, um, it might differ if you're using a different um, Corridor version because you might not have like for instance this variable outline too right so but most of the things you have here would be the same thing that you have here and of course if you are looking for how to change your interface if you have the white interface to make yours dark i made a video of this you can see it on top like this and just click on it to watch it right you can change your interface to this dark interface that i have here right right so let's get started so um to activate the pick two, what you just need to do is just go over to this point, click and hold, and select the pick two. Now, the pick two is like the primary tool inside of Corel Draw in the sense that you can use to select whatever you want to use to select, and um, of course, um, it has three different functions. Right? It's used for selection, and it's used to move, like selecting. For instance, I want to select this to change the color. I can just select and um, give this a whole new color. Select this and um, change the color. Let me just go random with all of this. Select this and of course change the color right here. You can see I'm doing all of this with the help of my pick tool, right? You can see how I just moved from um, the color I was before into this color I am currently now, all with the help of the pick tool, right? So of course, I said the pick tool also is also used to move things around. For instance, I have this my rectangle here, so I can easily move this around like this and um, and move it to a different position, right? So that's not to say that this is the only thing you can use your pick tool to do. Right, so let me just um, undo all of this. Control Z, that's what I'm pressing, and bring it back like this. Now, your pick tool doesn't just only, it's not just used to select alone and used to move about. You can also use to scale objects and all of that. Now, um, take for instance, now um, let me go into a new page now. So I have um, this. Right, when you draw a rectangle inside of Corel Draw, this is your rectangle tool. Click and hold to select your rectangle tool. The shortcut is F6. So when you draw a rectangle, I'm just going to give it blue, and um, I'm just going to leave the outline. I don't have anything with the outline now. So with your pick tool selected, you can use this pick tool as something to move this rectangle about. By clicking on the rectangle, you notice that when I draw, I, I drew the rectangle like this. I give it a color. I would have to go back to the pick tool so that I'll be able to move it around. Now, that's not to say you cannot be on this um, rectangle to move it about, but you have to be in the middle to move it about. And most times you cannot be too careful when you end up, you think you're on your pick tool and you end up doing things like this when you want to move this around. You can see all you're just doing is just drawing a new rectangle, right? So, like I said, you have to be, it has to be selected first. And you have to be in the middle for you to move it but with the help of your pick tool you can move it whichever way just make sure you're selecting it and you're moving it wherever you want to move it right and of course um, let me just delete this you can also use it for selection take for instance I have um, let me have this and I have this I'm just gonna give it a different color 
and I have this here and I have this I'm just gonna give this orange make this smaller make it orange and uh, okay so I have this also so I'm just gonna duplicate this um, move this up here like this and make this smaller okay so um, like I said you can also use it to make selection for instance now um, I have the blue I have the red I have the green right let me just create an extra green so maybe double greens okay so I want to make selection of uh, the orange boxes I have here so I'm just going to, with the help of my pick tool I just select and hold down the control key no I'm doing hold down the shift key and hold down the shift key again to select all the orange boxes hold down the shift key if I want to do the same thing too for the um, blue boxes what I'll do is I'll hold down the shift key and um, select you can see I'm selecting the two of them like this right so it's also used for selection too and most times in the case when you have um, uh, you have objects in a group. If I talk about objects in a group, now you can use it to make selection in different ways. You can see before, this is me using um, selecting using Shift to select more than one, right? So now you can also draw a mark you with your selection. This is when I mean draw a mark you. This is what I mean when you are on your pick two and you draw something like this. You can see it has blue lines, like kind of like. So you can draw it around it and this is what you get, right? So this is what you call a mark you. So if I want to select um, this orange, for example, now just draw like this, hold down shift and, but this is not perfect. That's why most times you do select here, hold shift, hold shift and select like this. But then if you want to select the entire of all these boxes I have here and maybe changing the color to the same color, or giving a different color like this I would have to use the mark you selection option that I have which is drawing the mark you like this right so that's another way you can actually use to make selection and of course you can also use your selection to to select an object and also rotate it or skew it this is what I mean so when you're selecting an object like this okay so I'm just going to delete all of this. You can see with my mark you too, that's what I used to do this. So just make this bigger. Select this, hold down shift and make this bigger like this. So what I can do with this is with my selection tool, I can also transform this and rotate it. What I mean is um, when you draw your rectangle like this with your selection tool, like this it's selected when an object is selected you see all this points here one two three four five uh five six seven eight it's always eight right so when you click again this is where um the action takes place so you have your rotate and you have your skew so i can click on any of these edges here to rotate it I just drag like this to rotate it right or better still i can just come over here and skew it this way or skew it this way all with the help of your what your pick two right great and um yeah so that's um the basic adjustment you can use your pick two to actually do inside of color draw so moving on uh, let me move on to the next one which is the freehand tool now the freehand pick tool is just like it's just like what the pick tool does but in a different way now the freehand pick tool works with the help of the selection of a mark you now if i want to use a freehand pick tool of course i'm using the freehand pick tool now i can always do the same thing i did with the pick tool which is of course making my selection select right and um select like this and select like this right now one thing you don't you um one thing you need to observe here is that as it is now i can do the same thing that this picture is doing like making selection 
hold down shift making selection like this like this you understand great let me just create a new page or i just come here so let me elaborate things a bit so i'm just going to give this a blue color remove the outline right make it smaller so i can have um let me use my pick tool for this then i switch back into what i have so i'm just making this like this and i'll position this here this way so i'm just going to go over to my freehand pick tool right so the same thing i did with my um pick tool click on this maybe i want to have only these two so select this click on shift select this you can see what i'm just selecting is just these two boxes right let me make it different so i use this color for it so right now where this one comes in handy which is the freehand pick tool is that you can also use it to make a marquee selection but the marquee selection that this one is going to make is not like that of um the pick tool itself now if i want to select this tool i will have to draw a marquee like this i would have to draw a marquee like this and make sure it covers like make sure it covers the shape right take for instance i want to select this and this all together so i have to draw my marquee like this and um, draw it like this right that's how it's been used right so it's not like the it's not like the normal pick to mark you through to that you actually draw like this and you have your selection this one it's kind of like a free hand right so you can draw like this like this like this probably you want this also selected i'm not doing that well so let me do that again draw like this draw like this draw like this draw like this so you can see now my marquee only covers these three boxes so at the end of the day i'm only selecting three boxes so that's how the free hand pick tool actually works now let's go over to the next one which is so i'm going to switch back to the pick tool and um, increase this of course you can do that with the help of your free hand pick tool you can reduce and you can increase right you can do that from the top here like this in as much as you're not doing this to a text or a font right so i'm um, increasing for this from the site like this is perfectly okay this way so moving over to the free transform right so uh yeah so this is the free transform right so um let's see so i'm selecting this and i'm going to the free transform now your free transform is um does um four different things you can see here in the property bar this is for free rotation the next one is for free angle reflection the next one is for free scale and this one is to skew so let's start with this one which is the skew so if you move this object like this you can see i'm just skewing this object using my free transform now you have to be very very careful with this tool because it's very 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 sensitive right so i can move it whichever ways i want flip it on its edge and i can now come back to my pick tool and um, of course use it to balance this up the way i want it or move it to the position that i want it to be right so um let's go back to the free transform so the second one is actually rotate so if i click on this you can see i'm rotating this with the help of the free transform so i can rotate it whichever direction that i want now that doesn't mean that you cannot use the pick tool to also rotate when you click and do the same thing like this right so if you need to balance it up and um, use the simple command you can just go over back to your pick tool and do the same thing that you are doing with your free transform another thing i want to talk about here is also the um the last one here right so i'm just going to click on it this is the free angle reflection tool 
so it works um, closely um, like with the way this one works here which is the free rotation but this one is just based on the angle you are selecting you can see now if I select this angle it's going to rotate from this angle if I select from this angle it's going to rotate from this angle so um, it's kind of like an intuitive tool inside of Corel Draw, and um, of course like I said you need to be very 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 um, uh, you need to just be mindful of the way you use it so you, to make sure that you're using it well right great so um, that's for it so I'm just going to go over to my picture and um, have some illustration now so um, I have shapes like this so I'm just going to put this color here and um, now you can also use um, the selection to to also make duplicate copies of objects so instead of doing ctrl c and ctrl v you have a shape you can also be moving a shape and also click on the space bar to make duplicate copy of that same shape you can see now i'm moving it with my selection tool and i'm also pressing the space bar on my keyboard to make duplicate copies of this you see it comes in very 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 easy peasy so instead of doing the right the, the mouse um, um, drag here and um, clicking right clicking and all of that and doing copy here most times people do copy here so just make life easy for yourself and um, instead of that just drag and um, when you get to the point you want to place it just press space bar and voila there you go Alright guys, this sums up um, the whole video session of this um, episode. So, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.